Now bring your knees to your chest and rock forward and back using the breath. If possible, rock into a table position. Otherwise, take your time to set yourself up with your hands beneath your shoulders, fingers spread wide, and your knees slightly wider than hip width apart. We'll do a twist to wring out the tension in your spine. Inhale your left arm up. Feel the sensation down into your hip. Exhale and dive your left arm through the window of your right palm and knee, coming down onto the side of your head. If this puts too much pressure on your shoulder, practice on your elbow. Or if your knees don't like this, you can do a twist in a chair. Enjoy little micro-movements, rolling your neck and shoulders and hips. Bring your abdomen up towards your right rib cage and let your right arm come up. Enjoy the stretch here or find your most satisfying expression with your right arm, perhaps stretching it on the floor or wrapping it around your torso. You can stay here or explore, experiment, find your most satisfying expression. You never want to get stuck in anyone else's pose. Where is your breath? Come into the fullest expression of your pose, no judgment, and if your knee is lifted, lower it. Bring your right hand down and press yourself back into table pose. Uncoil here from that deep twist. Trust your body wisdom to bring you back into balance. Then bring yourself back into a neutral table position. Inhale your right arm up. Feel the sensation down into your hip. Exhale and dive your right arm through the window of your left palm and knee coming down onto the side of your head and your shoulder. Modify as you need to. Practice little micro-movements, rolling your neck and shoulders and hips. Bring your abdomen up towards your left rib cage and let your left arm power up. Enjoy the stretch here or find your most satisfying expression with your left arm. Own this moment of your pose. You can stay here, or as yogis have done for thousands of years, let your body be your laboratory. Explore, experiment. You don't have far to fall, and it takes at least 27 tumbles to master the position. Inhale and come into the fullest expression of your pose, no judgments. Then if your knee is lifted, lower it. Bring your left hand down, and press yourself back into table pose. Untwist, uncoil, move in any way that brings balance to your spine. Yoga is about the undoing of those karmic knots that trauma and loss have stored in the body. Now come into a high kneeling position for flying cow Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your forearms to the mat. Inhale into table with your tailbone lifted, crown lifted, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale round through cat, but don't stop there. Keep moving back towards your heels, stretching your arms out straight, forehead toward the mat. Inhale and fly up. Smile into your heart. Exhale, forearms to the mat. Inhale into a dog tilt with your tailbone and crown lifted. Exhale through cat and come all the way back into extended child. Inhale, fly up. Lift the corners of your mouth. Exhale, forearms to the mat. Inhale into a dog tilt. Crown lifts, tailbone lifts. Exhale through cat and move all the way back into extended child. Beautiful. Inhale, fly up. Exhale, forearms to the mat. This time, 
come forward on your belly with your elbows under your shoulders for Sphinx Pose. Draw your shoulders down your back. Press into your pubic bone and lift up internally. We'll chant the seed sound VOM for the second chakra at your pelvic region, beginning with the consonant V. You are bringing life force to Swadhisthan Chakra, your center of sexuality, sensuality, creativity. Inhale. Vam. Beautiful. Draw your palms under your shoulders and press yourself back into an extended child pose. But don't rest here. Inhale, fly up, stretch out your spine. Exhale, forearms to the mat. Inhale, onto your palms, tailbone lifts, crown lifts. Exhale and roll over on your toes and press yourself back into a bent knee downward facing dog with your tailbone lifted and your legs hip width apart. Look towards your navel. Where is your breath? Find your ocean sounding breath and keep it fluid. Press your right heel down, bending your left knee. Breathe into that line of energy all along your right calf. Now press your left heel down, bending your right knee. Breathe into the line of energy along your left calf. Inhale up onto the balls of your feet, stretching out your toe joints. Exhale, press your heels down. Where is your breath? Press into the balls of your fingers, keeping the pressure off your wrists. If you have wrist problems, try down dog on your forearms, or you can practice against a wall. Drop your chest through your shoulders, but keep your middle back strong. Take two more ocean sounding ujjayi breaths here. Then walk your feet towards your hands or your hands towards your feet. Stand in ragdoll for a moment and sigh out whatever has been heavy on your shoulders. <sighs> a lot of it probably doesn't even belong to you. Just let it go. Bend your knees and place both fists between your parallel feet. Then keeping your knees bent, bring your hands to your waist, lifting and lengthening your spine into chair pose. Tilt your tailbone down. Let's take another round of skull shining breath, blowing out toxins through the nostrils, along with any mental fogginess that may be lingering. Please look on the insert for other precautions. Inhale, come into a full standing position. Exhale, close your eyes and receive the blessings of your practice so far. <sighs> <sighs> 